Everyone knows of the famous virgin birth of Jesus Christ, but what if I told you that he would likely be a she? In order to explain, we need to talk about virgin births. Virgin births have been documented in several species like hammerhead sharks, zebra sharks, and boa constrictors. Zookeepers were baffled in the Louisville Zoo when a solitary female Burmese python produced offspring without ever encountering a male. This is all due to an asexual form of reproduction scientists call parthenogenesis. This is when an egg grows and develops into an embryo without fertilization. Eggs are made through the process of eugenesis, which creates a mature egg along with polar bodies. Polar bodies are small cells with one set of chromosomes that typically disintegrate, but a virgin birth can occur if an egg combines with one of the polar bodies to form an embryo, or if the egg is randomly stimulated and mitotically divides on its own. Both ways lead to an offspring without having sex. And some species can actually use this ability when sexual partners are scarce or too troublesome. It's been hypothesized that this reproductive phenomenon evolved from species accidentally producing offspring without paternal input. In fact, the giant prickly stick insect prefers this type of virgin sex. After females have the experience of reproducing asexually, they will display defensive behaviors and even reject male advances altogether. This has led some scientists to suggest that parthenogenesis developed as a way to avoid costly types of sexual reproduction that can occur. That being said, sexual behavior may even help during asexual reproduction. For example, female whiptail lizards reproduce asexually, but if a female friend mounts them during ovulation, it can create greater reproductive success. So wait, why would this mean that Jesus was likely female? This is because as a human, your sex, not your gender, but sex is dependent on what sex chromosomes you're born with. XX chromosomes produce the female sex, whereas XY chromosomes produce the male sex. And since parthenogenesis occurs occurs within the mother, all offspring would be born with XX chromosomes. Through parthenogenesis, there's no chance to get a Y chromosome, so it would be impossible to produce the male sex with a virgin birth. If a lot of mutations occurred in the right places, scientists argue that this could happen in humans, although highly unlikely. But since we haven't looked at the genome of every person, it may have already happened without us ever knowing it. There was a strange case of a boy with DNA in his blood that didn't match the rest of his body. It turns out that his mother's egg had started to self-stimulate and was then fertilized by his father's sperm, and so the child was a product of two different fertilized cells combined. So if Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary, Mary, according to science, he likely would have been a she. If we're not including literal miracles and intervention by God. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any burning questions, flaming questions that you want us to answer, leave it in the comments below and we'll try to tackle it this year. Seriously, let us know what you want to see. We'll make it. Okay. <laughs> make sure you're following us on Instagram and Twitter and make sure you subscribe to this channel for new science videos every Thursday. Okay? We'll see you next week. See ya. Peace.